we are back. The rules are this. If I shoot par or better, that's gonna be a win for me. If I shoot over par, that's a win for the golf course. Here every Tuesday, on course, me versus breaking par. Let's get started. Another episode of Breaking Par. We're out here at Osprey Point. Shout out Osprey Point, beautiful day down here in South Fork to play. We are on the Raven Nine. Um, so this one we played before. We're gonna uh, play this nine holes, same thing, breaking par, me versus the golf course. We're gonna keep sort of a year long tally. If I shoot under par, it's a win for me. We're gonna uh, change the format a little and say if I shoot even par, we'll call that a, a wash, a tie. And if I shoot over par, the course uh, beats me. So I'm gonna talk you through the shots, let you know what I'm thinking, doing. Hopefully you learn some stuff. Hopefully you're entertained here. You have some fun with these and you, you keep you know watching. We're gonna try and post these every Tuesday. So if you watch uh, throughout the year and I uh, hope you guys enjoy, I appreciate you being here with us. Let's get started. Okay, hole number one, par five, um, dog leg right. I do think the wind's a little with us and I know with this one, I can kind of drive it through the fairway. So I wanna get a two iron, try and put a two iron out there. Maybe reachable two iron, two iron, but if not, we'll play three shot hole. I'm going between a tree and the light uh, pole in the background. So good solid swing here to get us started. Yeah, it should be good. Always nice, Mayor, to start off with a you know pure two iron on the first hole. So we'll uh, we'll take that. Maybe can get there, two iron, two iron. But I think the second shot will be into the wind. So par five, first hole. Not looking to do anything crazy. Solid two iron. Let's go see what we got. And like I've talked about some of our videos, especially in the first couple of holes, like when in doubt or if you're not sure about lines or not feeling good. Um, you know, I'd rather err on an aggressive swing to a more conservative target. So let's go see what we got. Yeah, we're golden. A little bit up and a little bit into the breeze. 230, a little into the wind. We'll call it a 240 shot. So it's, it's you know, it's all of a two iron. So I got a tree in the background. I think I could draw it off of and get it up there by the pin. All right, here we go. Two iron, kind of just a normal stock swing. Probably a good 10, 15 yard draw with the wind. Could be good, Mayor. Be the club today. All right, I don't know for sure, but I think that's probably up there on the green with a putt at Eagle. It's a good start. Good test of uh, speed control here to start. So from this distance, you know, I don't know, 50 feet, this is all Try and get the speed correct. Visualize the line, the putt's gonna go on. Try and feel out the speed control. Go, Peter, go! Probably five feet for birdie here. I think it's just inside right edge. Started on line here, a little downhill. So more kind of die in pace here. See it falling in the middle. All right, there we go. Good hole, good start, one under through one, Raven. Pretty good speed control, good birdie. Happy hole, on number two. Always nice to start with a par five too. You know, like a gettable par five with some room. Number two here is par three. I think it's like a 160-ish shot. So one under through one's the right idea, right? Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first one. And now we're gonna get our yardage and see if we can put a good swing on Number two here, 163, 162. And I think it's a little into from the left. My eight iron's 165, so I think this should just be a nice smooth eight iron, huh? Let me go grab that. A little draw into it, so I think just aiming just slightly left of the pin here. That's gonna hang up in the wind there. Catch a piece. Not a great swing and a little wind up there. I'm thinking I'm gonna be short, right? Maybe not. Oh yeah, there we go, okay. So, eh, all right. Decent distance control, actually. Just to the right. Yeah, so the distance was pretty good. I just kind of pushed it and then it got up into the breeze. One of the things too, when you play out here, when you're near drainage, is it's typically gonna be like more wet than normal. I have a perfect lie, but it's a little bit fluffy underneath there. If you're a little bit fluffy and into the green, you're gonna be particular with your strike. Having said that, I'm still gonna try and clip it a little bit higher than medium. Kind of a little bit softer trajectory shot here. 
So I had the right idea. I kind of kicked right, landed a little right where I wanted to kick a little right. It was the right idea, probably about eight feet for par. Not a great chip shot, but if we can make this, doesn't matter. I think I like left center here. There we go. All right. Not a great tee shot. Kind of floated an eight iron up in the wind. I'd say I hit a decent chip shot. Kind of got a kick, a little bit of a kick to the right. Not great, but you make a putt and we'll take a par. So one under through two, on to number three. So one under through two, a good drive here. Gives us a birdie hole here um, on this one as well. So we'll see if we can go drive or wedge it up there close. We are on hole three, um, one under through two. Now I played this twice and both times I sliced it about a gazillion yards right. So I'm gonna not do that this time. I'm gonna try and take it over the hill here, kind of over the tee boxes a little bit, cut a little bit off. If I hit a good drive here, it should be a little wedge in. So grip a little bit stronger, making sure we get our full turn during the backswing. A little bit of wind off the left, but I like a kind of right over the left uh, white tee marker there, a little cut. Yeah, I overcut it again, a little bit mare, but that's the miss here, fortunately. It'll be a little bit longer in than I wanted, but so one time I'm gonna play this hole and rip it down the left and have a little short wedge in, so we'll still be all right over there. Sometimes when I know I can miss on a certain side, like this side, there's so much room to the right, it kind of gets in the back of my mind. And I, I like kind of bail out, you know, I kind of bail out to the right on this hole. It's the third time in a row I did that. And it doesn't hurt yet, like I should have a little wedge in, but next time I play this hole, I'm gonna make sure I have that, uh, hit it down that more aggressive line, but we should still have a wedge in. Yellow pin means back. So uh, should have a little wedge into a back pin, see if we can control the spin and hit one up there close. And the breeze. So we got 94 yards. It's a little bit, a little bit into the breeze. Um, but I'm not going to add too much. You know, I probably have I probably have 100 yards to the back. It's a little bit into the breeze. A little cut shot. The ball's a little below my feet. Wind left to right. So we're going to play it 96, 98. Visualize a good shot here. Kind of zone out over the ball. Alright, had a little bit too much spin there. Flew it kind of where I wanted, hit a little bit lower than I wanted. Spin a little bit too much, probably a 20 footer back uphill. Yeah, maybe 30 feet. Definitely back up the hill right to left the whole way. Evens back out at the hole. So this is just a good uh, get the speed right sort of hole. This is one where if it goes in, it goes in, but we just want to get the speed right. Went a little bit right like that, but not bad. Good par. All in all. Yeah, so off the tee on this hole with where I could hit driver, if I go down the left, you know, I probably could have only 50, 70 yards in. I pushed it a little, so I had 95. Hit a decent shot. I was, kind of did what I was worried about, spun too much. So I'd like to have, if I played this hole 10 times, I'd like to have better birdie looks than that every single time. But all in all, still, you know, clear second shots, hit greens and reg, make pars. So hole number four, this one to me is one of the tougher par fours here. It's 440, um, and there's stuff that juts in on both sides, kind of right at my driver distance, like 300. So I'm going to hit a two iron here. Now we do have a little bit of wind with us from the right, which helps a little bit. So if I can get this out to like 250 and maybe have like a seven iron in, it should be like a, maybe a two iron, seven iron from here with the wind the way it is, little, little right to left. So I'm gonna try and hit a two iron. 
little draw by that pole there. That should be good. Downwind right to left too, that could be long. I mean, that could end up, what's nice about this two iron, no free promo, but it's a nice two iron, is when I get it going, it can go a little bit lower and I get that ride in the wind. On the par five, I hit it from two, I probably hit it, what, 245? But if I get downwind off the tee rolling, it could end up being like 260, 270. So hopefully we got a little shorter uh, into this hole so we can put an iron up there. Pins up, little downwind. 162, but with the wind. All right, we're gonna go pitching wedge. So 163, I'm gonna play it more like 145 and try and hit a real, kind of a full pitching wedge. For me, it's 145, ride the wind, see if there's enough club. Same target, about 30 feet to the right here. Damn, look at that ball draw in there. Not sure, it was definitely left, overdrew it. Not sure on the distance control. <laughs> Might have needed more club. But it felt like it was really whipping. I mean, I'm, this is brutal. So I mean, I'm, <laughs> it would have probably been nine iron only to the front, way short. Hit my spot and pretty good. All right, thanks. So, you know, same thing. Like, I'll take par on this hole. Really good two iron. I hit a good pitching wedge, 20 yards short. I guess why kind of going this right to left. So, missed club, good chip shot, good putt. One under um, through four. Uh, long par five, 600 uh, yards. I think last time I hit driver, five iron, full like gap wedge. So. This is just pulling out in the fairway three shot hole. This is just driver out there. You can miss a little bit to the right's fine. Honestly, into the wind today, 600 yards. I mean, this, this is probably driver, like four iron gap wedge type of hole. So I don't need to be a hero here on the tee shot. I got a tree out there between these two guys. Um, same thing, grip stronger for me, feeling like I'm making a full backswing turn with good depth and then swing through over my left shoulder. I'm visualizing like a little cut, little cut shot. Little bit of an overcut. I think we should be okay up there to the right. This is 600 in the wind. I think we were up there last time and we had 300. So I'm thinking we have like 310, 320. So I'm gonna just hit a five iron, try to hit like a five iron, just leave a wedge left. It's honestly a pretty tight layup hole. So I walked up, I got a spot in the background there. I'm gonna just try and hit a smooth, smooth five. Nothing, nothing fancy here. it right on my line so hopefully there's no reaction from the crowd there's certain holes that don't fit your eye and this second shot on this hole for some reason fits mine i gotta like channel that mojo on every other shot you know breathe that in so we probably have yeah, probably a full wedge. I mean, that's a that's a good par five, like full drive, full five iron, probably 130 or so. We got one, 35, pins middle, so we got room past. A little bit of a swirling wind. Terrible guess with the pitching wedge last time, so naturally we're gonna go with that again. 135, I'm gonna play 140. So I'm gonna go pretty much a full pitching wedge. There's a red stake about 10 feet left, and I am going to Pretty much go right at that and hope I get the wind right. Just try and make a good swinger, control what I can control. It was like a fat Perez thin shot that might be good. Spin. So I think, I think we're gonna be a little short left, a little thin, not a great shot, but we got to putt at it. We call that, that's a good bad shot we call that in the industry. Probably 18 feet, a little short left, a little thin to win, you know? Normally if we go play a course, you know, if I hit it 300-ish off the tee, I'm looking at it like, all right, I wanna be like 400 on the par fives, but some of these out here, 
It's a little more gettable, but this sort of hole. This is almost a be like a half a shot game here. This putt looks very good to my eye. Not a lot of break to it. Honestly, I think it's gonna be fairly, fairly straight. Kind of left edge. I kind of like inside left here, good speed. I didn't hit it. Oh, kind of a, not a great stroke, honestly. I didn't quite hit that. A little bit of break at the end, but all in all, pars are good. Got away with that one a little bit. One under, still in good shape. Let's do the next one. I hit drive the last two times we played here successfully. So we're going to go with that. This could be a two iron wedge shot probably, but we're going to do the uh, driver shot and kind of do the John Rom. This shot tracer might be a little bit of a banana slice, but we're going to do the kind of John Rom cut shot. I'm gonna try and start it by those trees and let it peel back to the right, give myself an angle. John Rom. Something like that, but again, that's gonna be right on the edge. It's like curving a little more than I want. I think we're okay there on the right side. I'm kind of picturing when I hit that shot, like a 30 yard fade and it's fading like 40 or 50. So I got to dial that back a little bit, but I think we should be okay. A little wedge shot then. 77 to the pin, which I feel like is maybe what we had last time. Pretty close. 77. I know I could throw it by and spin it back or just hit it kind of right at it. A little bit uphill into the wind. So we're going to kind of play it like 80, try and throw it right by the hole. 56 degree sand wedge. This is one where, um, so obviously we over, I mean, we were trying to curve it off those trees. We over curved it, but we, we got a shot here. 77, there's a big slope past the pin. So I could throw this up to the right and long, kind of spin it back and get fancy, but it's pretty level near the hole. So I'm just gonna play it kind of right at it. 77, a little bit of a swirling wind. I'm gonna hit this pretty low, so it shouldn't matter too much. So I'm gonna play this about, I have a little bit of low, low 75, which for me should be just under chest to chest. My tendency with these, as I've been doing these lately, is I kind of, to hit it solid, I swing a little more left and the club kind of, I finish short and my wedge has been come up short. So I'm gonna really try and make sure I go get my hands back to, you know, middle rib high and through to middle rib high. Make sure I get all the way through. So kind of a low 75, 80 shot. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go more towards 80 here. Chest to chest. Make sure I get a good, make sure I get a good follow through. A little bit of a downhill lie. I didn't fly it far enough, so we'll have a little longer putt than we wanted. I had 75, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a big ridge up to the right of the pin. So you, we played it before, you can almost throw it past and spin it back. That just hit a bad shot, just poor contact. So I'm probably 30 feet short. Not good. In fact, really not good. I give myself a one out of 10 there. So this, this would be a heck of a two putt, really. Man, you threw it up there pretty darn high, huh? So I'm thinking this is gonna, come into the hole on this sort of line. So kind of up here is where I'm looking. And if anything, that almost feels like that not, might not be high enough. Peter gave me a little line there. Really got to trust, trust that on ones like this. A little too much speed, it was trying. These sort of putts, it's like really picking a line and speed that you feel good about. So I got this couple inches outside the left. Right to that line and pace. Yeah, I'm always right. Mm. Yeah, it's a really bad bogey. Oh, 200, pins a little down hill, pins up into the breeze. Just made a an awful, awful bogey on the last hole. We're gonna get over that, but younger me would be, you gotta take that two ways. When I was like playing a lot when I was younger, I'd take that and either get like pissed off and play really good, or it'd be like quick downhill trend. So we're even, I think we're even. 
I think we're even, so not really, you know, not hitting it great, not feeling great about the swing, but I've been playing good, hitting good um, as a practice more day. So there's a couple good swings here. Get back in the moment and just like try and make a good swing. 200 downhill, a little debris, so probably a five or six iron. Got a five iron, 205, a little bit downhill, a little bit down breeze. So I played at 200. So I hit this on that par five a couple holes ago, real pure and saw, you know, pure solid shape where I wanted. So I'm gonna try and picture like I'm hitting that same shot, just a couple feet left of the pin. See if the wind will bring it back. Pin high left. Not a great swing, good contact, but pulled it to the left. So kind of all downhill. Always lie first, then where do I want to putt from? So this one, pretty flat by the hole, but if you hit a little bit past the pin, you're putting back uphill. So it can be a little more aggressive within reason on this one. In or two feet past the hole would be like a perfect shot here. Good lie, 56 degree sandwich. You can kind of do whatever you want from here. Break and sit. Well, I wanted to get past the hole. I was a little, a little too aggressive. All right, can we roll another little par save in? That's the question. Solid break in this way, the whole way past the hole. I know it's going uphill to the left. So a little bit outside, they cut to the right where my line is. Not a ton, maybe an inch or two. Gloves out. Couple good practice strokes, see the ball rolling up there. A little bit left the whole way, huh? I don't know if that was a pull or, well, to check the tape. So back to back bogeys, puts us at one over. So 400 yard par four from back here. So see if we can go driver, Kind of sand wedge, but one up there close. I think the pin's kind of middle-ish. So I got their carts in the left center of the fair. I'm gonna go a little right of that. I'm not gonna try and cut this one. I've been overcutting them a little bit. So I'm gonna try and play this one a little bit straighter here. I think I get the face a little bit more close to the path compared to normal. So I'm kind of got a left edge of that green side bunker. It really solid. Little, little right on my line, but I think that should be really good. Call number eight. First drive of the nine that I feel like I really hit well there. Didn't try and do the fade as much, just more straight. Should be up the right side. Two, two kind of, you know, not two kind of, two normal bogeys, regular bogeys. Um, so we, we need to get a birdie. We gotta get a birdie to get back, get it back to uh, even par. I think we should be on the right side of the fairway. We have like a little wedge up there. Gotta put one close, gotta make a putt. Come on. 70, 71. All right, so I think we had a little wind with us there. That was the first really good solid drive like I hit today. Um, so we had 70 in, so it's like a 330 downwind, which is far from me. 70 to the pin, pins in the middle. No excuses, gotta pull one close here. A little bit uphill, a little bit downwind, but I think just, just a 70, huh? Nothing, nothing fancy. 70 yards. So 70 for me should be rib to rib. Come on. I need you guys rooting for me here if you're watching. 70 yards, rib to rib. Hit this a million times. Put this one up there close. Sit, sit. I think I'm a little long, but it was the right, good contact, good idea. I felt more like I wanted to do. I think I'm gonna be a little bit deep. You know, normally when we play, like the zone I've been in, I feel like, not to, you know, whatever, but I had a lot of, I, I'm used to hitting a lot of shots how I see them, like solid how I see them. Today, this is the first, this is the first hole where I like hit two shots how I want it, which isn't, isn't good, isn't good. It's not great. It's not the best thing in the world. We gotta, we gotta have this puck, guys. We like, we're one over, just kind of struggling around, but we make this, get back to even have one more hole left. Gotta, gotta have this puck. A little bit downhill left to right. So a little bit downhill. I have a ton of break. 
Gotta have it, Peter. This is where like, you know, really good players kind of bone up and make one of these. So let's see where we're at. I've been practicing. A short game for this. Oh, we had to have it. Big putt, Peter. Come on. That was the first clutch birdie putt and clutch putt of the year. Let's get, we're back in business. Of course, can't, 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 can't keep having these L's. Had to have that. Big, big birdie there. That deserves a like. Click that like button. Share with a friend, comment down below. Subscribe, all those YouTube things. If you're still watching at this point, last hole, ninth hole. Appreciate you guys watching. Allowing Mary and I to do stuff like this, playing golf here for a living is pretty cool. So we appreciate, hopefully you're enjoying these. We've got one more hole to go. We'd love to have another birdie. Let's, uh, we got a 387 carry to the end of the water. I think it's probably 300, 310 maybe to the pin. Pin somewhere back left, can't see it. But if I hit the same drive I hit on the last hole, kind of a high straight shot, I think it's pretty good. So I'm just gonna feel like I close the face a little. I don't think I need to try and crush it. Oh, that is absolutely there. Come on, Peter. I think it might be just short of the green, but it definitely carried the water. We'll take that. So we flew it here. So 297, 300, whatever. Shout out Osprey Point. If you guys are ever in Boca, especially like now, beautiful 80 degrees. They got three nine hole courses. We're just looking at the practice range right here. It's beautiful. Um, so we just got done playing the, the Raven nine, I believe. So breaking par, clutch finish, driver, driver. We were kind of in between the layup and the driver in the last hole. Went driver, carried it, uh, two putt birdie. We had to kind of keep going because there's a group right behind us. But birdie, birdie close gets us to one under. Not my best round of golf. As you guys will see some of those shots. So I got to tighten some things up, but um, we'll put a little tally on the uh, screen for Eric. And again, Osprey Point, if you guys are ever down here, highly recommend you come out. We're going to um, be playing this course the next couple of days. So you'll see some more um, some more breaking parts, some more maps and stuff like that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below if you're still watching. Click the like button, all that stuff, and we'll see you next Tuesday.